Okay, here we go. I'm um, working with Ed Emberley's Drawing Book of Animals, which I purchased about 50 years ago or more. Um, no, no, around 50 years ago. And um, it's a simple way to become a great artist. And I'm going to show you how it is. Um, going, thumbing through the book, it says here, if you can draw these shapes, letters, numbers, and things, you'll be able to draw all the animals in this book. For instance, in order to draw this polywog, you do this, and so on, you do that. And let's get started. Okay, here are the shapes that you need to be a great drawer. I guess we'll have a triangle. A triangle that is blacked out. You can do a better job than that, but anyway. Then you need a circle and probably a circle that's blacked out. And you need a rectangle and a rectangle that's blacked out. So you need those shapes. And the letters that you need to do this great artwork is a Y, a J, and an L. A C, a D, and an S. A V, a W, and an M, and a U. The numbers you need are a 1, a 2, and a 3. And the things that you need besides that are a small dot, a large dot, a bird track, a curlicue, a scratchy scribble, and a curly scribble. Those are called the things that you need. Okay, as I turn the page, I find out how to make an ant. And uh, an ant, well, let's go in and do the change, change the page. Uh, here's an ant. Go watch it. There's an ant. Now, if you're looking for ants, that's more than one ant, you would have maybe a bunch here. Those are a bunch of ants. Easy to see. Or they might be in formation. Um, you can have um, different colored ants. Let's try another color ants. We'll have well, a brown ant. Looks like a black ant, but it's a brown ant. Uh, you can have a green ant. I hope this is green ant. Yep, a green ant. Um, uh, you can have a, a brown ant wearing a green sweater. And you can have uh, an ant saying hi. We'll have a brown ant here. And hi. Hope you can see that. Maybe we'll have a black ant. They're more common anyway. Saying hi. All right. And we're going to go on to the ants itself. Here's some um, ants uh, climbing up grass. And an ant uh, dropping off. Whoops. Dropping off grass. Whoop, we better put the grass in. And um, tell me what this one is. Whoop. 
that's uh, ants going down a hole. And um, which leads us to this one, which is ants coming out of a hole. Now let's go move into other low life. Uh, let's see what colors we could have for this. Uh, maybe we'll just stick with this color. Um, no, we got to have a brown. Come on. Hmm. Not very happy. Brown. Okay, we have a worm. Ready? That's not a very good worm. Let's try another one. Huh? It kind of has a head problem. Okay, there's three worms. Now you want a, a snake. Uh, well, a snake, we better do a little, maybe a little bigger here. This is going to be a big snake. Oh, that's supposed to be a snake word. Here's a snake. There's a snake. And, um, whoop, I forgot. That's not really a snake, that's just a line. This, to make it into a snake, it's got to have a head. Put a head on this one. Yep, there's a head. Um, oh, and look, this is a really mean looking snake. Now, if we add something else here, and the colors are not coming out very well, but like that, very angry snake. Um, now, this one here. is what you call, whoops, let's finish her off, finish her off, got to put that, whoops, he has double eyes. That's what you call it, a tall snake. Now, some snakes, we're going to go to caterpillars, um, and caterpillars you might think are quite a bit like snakes, but, well, maybe not. Um, the, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the right color, but we'll try it. Whoops. Oh, that's very weird. That looks like a, like a snake, doesn't it? Well, we're going to have to turn it into something else. So we're going to turn it into... Uh, a caterpillar except it needs a head so we're going to put a head on and I guess it needs an antenna of some sort so we'll put an antenna on and uh, oh I guess it needs legs yes okay give it legs one two three four five six that's supposed to be a caterpillar Hmm, interesting. 